Hey, Evangelist Rob here, Rob Woods Ministries. I want to prophetically decree and declare to you, I'm looking right at you through the screen, whether it's your iPad, cell phone, Mac, whatever. You are going to make it. The Lord Jesus says you're not going down, that because he's in your boat, your boat will float. And you can ask Brother Noah about that now. I'm thinking of Jesus. When he goes to go over to the other side, he gets in a boat, he falls asleep at the helm at the, you know, like a captain would do. And the disciples start free. The storm comes, a great tempest. And a squall arose, the Bible says, and the boat started filling with water. And the disciples, oh my God, Master, don't you care that we're going to perish? He gets up, rebukes them, says, ye of little faith, rebukes the storm. And he probably went back to sleep. So, friends, you're going to make it. You're not going down. Now, before I continue, I am a minister of the gospel. It'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance. The show's over six minutes. Or Bible studies that you can check out in the past that I burned, uh, where I expound and revelate out of Scripture. Hit the comment button. Now, if you need prayer, if you need to join my faith with your faith, because the Bible says one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand to flight. And if I add my faith to your prayer need, we're going to break through. There is a synergy when we pray together. The Bible says where two or three are gathered, Jesus is in the midst. And Father, I believe you spoke to me to come on here and encourage people. There's someone here, Lord, that feels like they're not going to make it that they're going down, but you're saying you're going to make it. You're not going down because Jesus, my friends, is with you and for you. And the Bible says, if God be for you, who or what can be against you? Now, let me give you an anchor in scripture. Jesus said, I will be with you always, even to the ends of the age. Never pray for Jesus to come because he said he would never leave. Once you're yoked to the Lord, the Lord is yoked to you. Once you're committed to the Lord, the Lord's committed to you. You can cry out at any time, anywhere, at any place. The Bible says we have access. We can come to that throne of grace in a time of need and find mercy. The thing is, the devil. When you're tripped up, if you fall in sin and you've got a propensity or weakness, wants to keep you from getting back to Jesus. The Bible says, though a righteous man falls seven times, he gets up. Now, am I excusing and condoning, imploring you to get into sin? Come on, let's be real. Stop it. They said that to Paul, I believe, in Romans. Shall we continue to sin that grace will abound? He said, of course not, certainly not. I'm telling you what to do if you're caught. In a trespass, you got to get back to Jesus and get back to that grace that's going to strengthen you so you don't fall again. You understand what I'm saying? There's only two places you can fall when you're down. You can stay down or you can get up. The Lord's saying, dust yourself off, repent, get back in the game, and get right with me through my grace, through relationship, get in worship, prayer, the word whatever, get in a good, solid church service, whatever the Lord speaks and tells you to do, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't lose because the loser, the devil's trying to tell you because you fell or fallen. You know, I don't know how I got on this. Dear God, how did I get on this? This is for someone out there. Therefore, there is now no more condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. Now I'm going to give you the key. This is it. You've got a right to take the devil to the courts of heaven, because it said he accuses the brethren day and night with accusations. So when you go to the courts of heaven, don't plead innocent, don't plead guilty, plead the blood. Now God's the judge of the earth, and God's going to issue a verdict. It's a hairbrush. I brushed my hair before the show. It looks great, doesn't it? Wonderful. He's going to take the gavel. This is a gavel like a judge, and he's going to say guilty over it. You're, you're the devil. You're guilty over the accusations over John, Susie, Mary, Tom, Phil. Now, I know those names aren't pertinent now. They're all different in these eclectic, you know, uh, new names. But the point I'm trying to make is Jesus is your lawyer. 
and the Holy Spirit is going to issue the verdict and find the devil guilty. If you're washed in the blood, you've forgiven. You've accepted Jesus. The Bible says you don't need a whole shower. You just need your feet to be washed. Remember, I work with the youth and youth ministry in many of the local churches, and they would think they could be born again, 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 and again. No, if you're born again and you've fallen from grace, just repent and say, God, you know, forget. Come on, man, if we go to a bad a thousand, what's the reason for grace in the first place? So anyway, you're going to make it. You're not going down. Don't believe or fall into that trap or weapon or snare of the devil. He's a liar. If you're a prodigal and you need to come back to Jesus, let's go. Go for it. The Bible says the Father has been watching and waiting. As you spent all you had due to riotous living, you took the inheritance and spent it foolishly. You ate in the pig pen. He's got the signet ring, the best robe, and the fatted calf, and he's waiting. Get back to Father's house. Get back to the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm imploring you now in Jesus' name. And if you're not born again, you must be born again, Jesus said. The most moral person cannot out, outdo what God's done or earn salvation. Say this prayer. Say, Jesus. Thank you for dying on that bloody cross for my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I submit my life to you in the name of Jesus. And friends, the Lord bless you. Subscribe if you made it this far. It'd be an honor. Hit the like button. Comment in any fashion. Amen and amen.